Hello there. Happy New Year once again. From all of us in Delight Channel, we sincerely, sincerely wish you the best of 2019. If you are new to this channel, welcome. This is Delight Channel. It's a channel where our vision is world transformation, one man at a time, one community at a time. And um, if you have been here before, but you are just joining us with this video, I invite you to please go back and check the other videos that we've had, either for this series that we are running, which is on change and change management, or the numerous topics that we have covered. By the way, we now have over a hundred videos in our archive. So please feel free to go check. All we are trying to do is contribute a little bit to your journey so that very soon you too can start living your dream. And um, before I get into the content for this week, let me quickly ask those three questions I've been asking over the last couple of videos, which are, number one, have you evaluated 2018? And number two, based on number one, based on the evaluation, what gap did you find? And number three, based on one and two, what would you do differently in 2019? What is your plan for 2019 to ensure that you succeed? Don't ever forget, nobody succeeds by accident. So, start today. Check your watch. Check your, your calendar. Before you know it, January will be over. So, that's how it flies. And then another December is here. This is the time to make a difference. Let's go, my friend, and take deliberate steps. Welcome to this week's content. So, this week, we are continuing what we started a couple of weeks back towards the end of last year, where we have been focusing on change and change management. And so that I provide a context for what I'm going to talk about this week, let me do a quick recap. I have shared two broad principles with you so far on this journey. The first is that Change management happens over three phases. Can you remember that? Yes, the first phase is the phase of the unfreeze. The second phase is the phase of the change. And the third phase is the phase of the refreeze. Now, let me say clearly here and warn that even though as you see it on your screen or as you hear me talk about them as phases, they may sound as finite block, start and stop, start and stop without any form of overlapping. In reality, it doesn't work like that. While you are still on the unfreeze phase, some things begin to change immediately. And when you are dealing with change, you may be freezing certain things that you have already concluded on and you don't need to wait for all the change to happen before you go to the freeze. So it's a loop that goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Make that um, element number one. Now, the second element I've also shared with you is that in addition to the three phases I just um, enumerated, there are also seven steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps that successful change go through. And that was what we landed last week. A quick recap tells us that the first step is a step of being sure of what exactly is changing. The second step is to then make a clear case, build a clear case for that thing that you need to change. The third step says you must intensely and deliberately communicate, 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 so that everybody understands what you are trying to change, understands how it affects them, and then all the issues can be properly ventilated and confronted. Number four is that you then make a plan so that you don't just run with it as it pops up. You are deliberate about it. And then number five is where you have to now do the real work, which is execution, where the rubber meets the road. You execute, you monitor, you manage, you control the change such that your initial agenda is not defeated, but your desire can be achieved. And then, as you go along that journey, you need to celebrate every little victory. It gives you fail for the journey and takes you towards your direction. And last but not the least is that as you go through 1 to 6, 
you must constantly review, revise, and improve on whatever you are trying to do. Because no matter how hard you try, there is no way you can see everything you will have to confront in the change before you start. So whatever pops up, you must be flexible and nimble enough to deal with it. Now, these are the two elements. The three phases and the seven steps. What is the relationship? That is what I want to try to build on this week. The relationship is that the steps happen within the phases. Yeah? So, when we say phase one, phase two, phase three, each phase has certain things going on inside them. Those are the seven steps that we have enumerated. So, let me quickly do a, a consolidation to bring the two concepts together. What I'm saying is that when you speak about the unfreeze phase, what goes on in the unfreeze phase are steps one, two, three, and four. Steps one, two, three, and four happen in the unfreeze phase. What are these steps? Which is to identify what needs to change, to build a case for it, to communicate, to make a plan. Those are the four things that happen within the unfreeze phase. But when you then go to the change phase, steps five and six happen in the change phase. That is where you are executing your plan and you are celebrating your little success as you go on your journey to the big success. But like I said, like I said of the phases, I will also say of the steps, they are not finite. They are not silos. They are not start, stop, start, stop. There is a lot of loop and overlap back and forth in the seven steps. Therefore, when you get to like um, the change phase where you are dealing with steps six and um, five and six, which is where you have execute, monitor, and manage, as well as the celebrate the success as you go. A part of the celebrate your success as you go also happens in the step seven, which is where you review, revise, and continuously improve. What am I saying? I'm saying that as you go through the change process and you learn certain things, you begin to freeze them. You freeze them in bits and pieces. You freeze them as you go along until everything is frozen and the entire change project completely moves to the freeze phase. So, what I'm saying in essence by way of recap is that steps one, two, four happens in the unfreeze phase. Step five and six happens in the change phase. And then step six and seven happens in the refreeze phase. Meanwhile, the step seven, which is review, revise, and continuously improve, is a step that happens throughout the three phases. Meaning, as you are on freezing, you are reviewing, you are revising, you are improving. As you are changing, you are reviewing, you are revising, you are improving. And as you refreeze, you are reviewing, you are revising, and you are improving. What are we saying? We are saying that successful change has a code. There is a method to the madness. We are also saying that in achieving that desired change and achieving it successfully, you need to know the phases that the change goes through and you need to be aware of the steps that happen in the phases. This is the summary of the last, how many now? Four or five videos that we have put together. I will be landing this, this at this point this week, because the next week, we need to take the conversation a little further. Remember that the change management, change and change management conversation we are having is still focusing more on the entrepreneurial side. We will still come back and deal with whatever we have left out on the personal or individual side. So, if this is sounding a bit too woozy for you, I request and recommend that you watch it a few times and then make sure you watch the preceding videos so that everything ties together for you and the knowledge is well settled. 
As usual, feel free to contact us via any of our channels. Let's know what is not clear. Let's know how to clarify. If there's anything we can do for you one-on-one, -on -one, let us also know. And if there's any topic you'd like to see us cover this year, feel free to share. It's always, always a pleasure to have you here with us. But whatever you do this year, don't go random. Please don't go random. Be deliberate. Make a plan. Pursue it. You may not hit it 100%, but you will certainly be better than if you had not done anything about it. On behalf of the team, thanks for being here once again this week. Team Mark is my name. And until I see you next time, don't ever forget that what? All I'm trying to do is make a little difference. Thanks and see you next week. Bye.